Hello and welcome to this episode of FPV for Beginners. This is a series of videos where I'm trying to get you into the FPV hobby by giving you all the basic information you need. These videos do not go into massive detail. They keep it nice and light so that you can understand it and just give you the basic information that's going to get you into the hobby and having a lot of fun in no time. So in this episode, we're going to take a look at props for your drone because you can buy any type of prop that's out there, two blade, three blade, you know, four blade if you want, different sizes, different shapes, different angles, all will benefit your drone. It's all up to you what you want to achieve. And also I'm going to show you how to put your props on because there's only two ways to put them on. They're not idiot proof like on DJI drones. You can actually put the props on the wrong motors and have your drone flip all over the ground and take somebody's eye out. So we don't want that to happen. So basically watch this episode and learn a lot of cool information. Here we go. All right, first thing I have to show you is taking off the props and how they actually go on the drone. So first thing you'll need is some sort of tool. If you do not have a tool like this, well, this is very standard. Everybody in the hobby uses something like this. I'll put a link to these tools below. Check them out. They're not very expensive. You can get them on Amazon and you should have a set for yourself so you can remove props easy. So here we go. So take off a prop. You just remove the nut. Just hold the motor tight with your hand and then spin counterclockwise and the nut will come off and you can remove the prop. Now I have to show you this. I've taken the nut off this one and the nut off this one so I can pull the props off. So here is your props. And if I threw all four props on the ground and I said, put them on the drone, you probably would be kind of lost. You wouldn't know where they go on which motors or what. So let me show you close. So when it comes to FPV drones, the props are, they're kind of idiot proof on which way you put them, right side up, upside down. They have writing on them, you know, on one, prop here you'll see it right there the writing will be right here and usually when you see writing on the prop that's the side that goes up next thing to notice about a prop is the angle of the blade see right here how this rises up and then falls back so that means that obviously the prop is going to slice into the wind like this and it's going to push the air down. Now that we know if there's writing on a prop, that means that's the upside of the prop and the side with no writing would be down. The next thing you have to know is what motors do the props go on. So in the world of FPV, there's something called props in and props out. So I would say in my experience with about uh, maybe 80% of the drones I own, it's always props in. The other 20% would be obviously props out. And you're going, what is props in, props out? So you see how I'm making that motion with my hand? It's like this, I'll just pretend I'm a prop. Props in means that the wind, let's say my head is where the camera is on the drone. The wind is coming in, that's props in. I'm taking my props and I'm spinning them in this motion to get the wind to blow on the top of my head. Props out means I'm blowing the wind in that motion this way. It's going that way away from me. So I have probably confused the heck out of you. Let me see if I could show you closer on the actual drone. All right. So take a look at my drone right here. So props in would mean that I would put a prop that's going to blow the wind. This is my head here. Blow the wind at my head. Blow. Look, I want the wind. It's hot here. I want to get the wind coming. And props out means I want the wind to go away from my head. You know, it's too hot. Ugh. Get the wind out. That's props out. So props in is what I say is on like 80% of quadcopters. If you're ever in doubt and you don't know what to do and you have to put props on, put them props in. So how does that relate to the prop? Let me show you. If you take a look at these two props I have here, you notice the curve on the prop right there. It's designed in order to grab wind. It has to turn this way. So the wind, where's my finger? The wind hits this edge of the prop and it forces it down to the ground. So that would be turning this way. So that's the way the prop turns. In order to get that wind to force down and blow into my face, I would have to put the prop on this motor so that it turns like this. And you see how it goes? It's gonna blow the wind into my face. So that would be props in. It means the motor that goes on this side, well, it must do the same, but it has to do it in the opposite direction. So there we go. So this would have to blow this way and this would blow that way. And there we go. So now we have props in. If the motors were props out, it would just be reversed. So by switching them, I couldn't have the props turn this way. Props would never turn that way because look at I'm slicing the wind this way and I'm causing the wind to blow upwards. I want the wind to blow downwards. So the only way to get the wind to blow down is to turn the opposite direction and that would be props out. Props out is like that. You see the angle of the props? There we go. 
So let me just put these back on props in, which I think is the most common. So on this Mark IV drone, it is a props in drone. They turn this way. So now you're saying, Steve, well, that's great. I know how the props go on the front, but what about the two back motors? How do I put props on those? Well, it works like this. Whatever prop goes on this motor, you do exactly the same thing on this motor in the rear. These, this motor and this motor must match. And this motor right here and this motor must match. So if you look at any drone you own, take a look at the props. You'll always see that whatever is over on the right is going to match whatever's on the left rear. Whatever's on the left front is going to match exactly what's on the right rear. So was that as clear as mud or was that super clear how props go on? It's pretty basic. You know, I've been in the hobby business for a long time with all sorts of drones, camera drones, FPV drones, and I can take any drone out of a box. I don't read the manual. I put the props on and 99.9% .9 I get it right. It's that easy. Now, another way to know which way the prop spin is to read the manual. Now, unfortunately in the FPV hobby world, the manuals are not very good because they just assume you know everything. So uh, yeah, so the manual, you can't always rely on it, but I have an episode coming up on Betaflight that's gonna show you how to plug your quad into your computer so you can configure it. And in Betaflight, there is a section that tells you exactly which way your props spin. So wait for that. You'll see that coming up in a future episode. And the last thing I wanna show you about props is say you wanna buy more props for your drone. All you have to know is the size. The size is always in inches. These are five inch props, so you would just go on Amazon and look for props that are five inch. You'll get all types and you can buy any ones you want. It doesn't matter. It's all gonna fly well. Some people have a preference for the exact type of props they like and others just don't care. Myself, I do have a preference and I have a certain angle I like my props to be at. But a lot of times when I buy drones, you know, they all come with the stock props and I use those first before I switch it to my props that I like. So let me show you something. These boxes I have back here, these are full of props. So I got props in there, I got props, different sizes, different brand names, different types, more props. My props can go from, I have props from, oh, I don't know, one inch all the way up to seven inches in size. I got more back here. So when you're in this hobby, you are going to collect props like they're going out of style because one thing that influences how you fly and how your drone performs is the prop. If you put a two blade prop on it, do I have any two blades here to show you? Two blade props, where are you? Oh, another box down here. Okay, this is full of two blade props. So two blade props look like this. Well, here, they almost, I must buy a lot of props in green. I like green. So that's two blade props. Now, Two blade props are good if I wanna race. If I wanna go in a straight line and go super, super fast, two blades are awesome for that. They're also really good for motor efficiency, so your battery time might be pretty good. So let me show you another type of prop. Uh, let me just pull this off. So this would be a, can you see that? That's a four blade prop, so a four blade prop. Four blade props obviously are gonna grab a lot of wind and they're really good if you wanna go up really fast or you want to go in one direction really fast. So the four blades are going to grab an awful lot of wind. They're pretty hard on the motors, but most motors nowadays can take them. They're going to use a lot more of your battery power to stay efficient and get you going. A lot of people like four blades. Myself, I tried them for a while. I fell in love with them, but I found them a little noisy because there's four blades grabbing air. So they're a little bit more whiny in the air. And uh, sometimes I thought something was going wrong with my quad, so I don't use them anymore. So I stick with the tri-props, which are three blades. And most drones you buy today always come with three blade props. The benefit with a three blade prop is cornering. So if I'm flying along and I wanna go to the right really fast, I can corner so fast with a three blade prop. As well, if I wanna do flips and curls and tumbles and rolls and everything else, then a three blade prop is probably the most efficient. It cuts into the air so much better and you get better performance. Now, every manufacturer of props will sell their props based on different specifications, saying that the materials we use will cause your flight to be better, smoother, whatever. Try them all and see which one works for you. And the last thing about buying props is that you can buy props at different angles. 
you know, different pitch. So in other words, you have a prop, if it's got relatively slight pitch, it's not going to grab a lot of air as it spins around. It's for a smoother flight. You can gun it and you'll get nice smooth motions. If you grab a prop that has a pitch that's really, really aggressive, it's grabbing a lot of wind, you're going to use a lot of your battery power and your motors are going to get warm flying, but you're going to get a huge performance boost. So you got to find a medium which works for you. Now, I really would not worry about props too much as a beginner, you know, like if you want to get a four blade, a two blade, a three blade, what pitch you want the prop to be at, what material you want it to be made of. Don't worry about that as a beginner. But I will say this, when you buy your drone, your very first drone, and it comes with props, look at what size they are. They're going to say 2.5 inch, 3 inch, 4 inch, 5 inch props, 6 inch, 7 inch props. Go and buy yourself a few extra sets from any place you can find them. Amazon, whatever. They all fit. They all work on FPV drones. And uh, that way, if you break props, you've got lots of spares. So I hope this episode of FPV for Beginners, all about props, was of benefit to you. Once again, I try to keep it simple. I'm not going too heavily into details here to blow your mind and get you all confused. I just want to get you into the hobby having fun. So if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. I'll bring my hand around here. Please give it a thumbs up. Stay tuned for the next episode. We're going to get into some cool stuff with that. We're getting closer to beta flight and our radio and making a new model and going out and fly and all that good stuff that's coming up in future episodes. So stay tuned for the next episode, which is coming up not too far in the distant future. All right. See you then. Bye.